All right, this is a heat transfer problem. And today we are working on uh, doing some calculations for an airplane's window. Now, they tell us a lot of things. We have a temperature difference across this window. We have its dimensions given 0.32 meters, 0.32 meters, so basically a square. Uh, we have the thickness of this window is 0 0.01 meters. We know that we have 130 windows on the airplane. And we know that the plane is flying for 8 hours. This is the cost to heat the airplane, which is $1 per kilowatt hours. Okay, that's our cost. And we have properties given for three different materials from which we can make this window, manufacture it, right? And they want us to figure out what kind of heat loss do we get from these three materials. And they also want us to compare the costs that would be associated with this heat loss through these windows. Now we're going to calculate it for each material the heat loss, aerogel, polycarbonate and soda lime and then we're gonna go ahead and calculate the cost for each uh, window material. This is actually a very common situation where you're manufacturing something and then I don't know your boss would ask you hey uh, tell me what should I make this whatever thingy out of uh, here's three materials that you can choose from tell me which one's the best. Okay, so here we have these three. Let's see which one would cost us more, cost less to operate. And here to operate means how much heat loss we would have, right? We'll see that some of these, um, you can tell that, see, they're K. This is the conductivity coefficient. So we can tell that they are all different, right? So definitely they're going to have different properties, different heat transfer um values associated to them. So let's get started. Heat, heat, heat loss. Heat transfer, heat loss. We need to find something with units of what, right? For every single window. So we're going to do it one at a time. Let's do it for one of the windows. So our formula, do you find it right here? Heat loss equals the flux times area. Now, what kind of flux are we going to be dealing with here? If we look, we have a solid material and we are trying to calculate how much heat is getting lost through it, considering that there's going to be an 80 degrees Celsius difference from this side to this side, right? That is conduction. So we're going to need a flux formula for conduction. There you have it. Flux for conduction equals negative K delta T over L. But the original is dt over dx, right? It's a derivative. Now, let's take our flux, plug it right in there, and here we have our formula that we're going to be using for the heat rate transfer, or otherwise said, the heat loss through this window. So, first, let's take our formula and plug in everything that we know. We're gonna do it first for, let's do it for aerogel right here. Let's take its K value, 0 0.014, plug it in. 80 over 0 0.01 meters, that's the length this way. So basically the thickness of this material, the area, the area is this area, the surface area that is perpendicular to the direction of heat transfer, right? This is our direction of heat transfer going from the inside to the outside. And a little number crunching, we can see that we're going to lose 11.47 watts. Same thing, let's do it again, the exact same formula, but now this K will be replaced with the polycarbonate right here, 0 0.21 watts per meter Kelvin. Everything else still stays the same, and we can find a heat loss of uh, 172.03 watts. Now for the third one, soda lime, let's plug in its correct K value, 1.4, do the calculation, and we can see 1146.88 watts. 
For the second part, we can see the costs. Let's calculate it one by one. And for this particular step, we don't really have a set formula, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to logisticize it out from what we have. Now we see that we have a cost given here, but it is on a per kilowatt hour basis. Now we're gonna start with this and we're gonna turn these units from kilowatt hours to just leave the kilowatt by multiplying it for the whole trip which is the eight hours right so multiplies by h so now we all we have left is we have to get rid of the watts what i'm trying to go to is i want only dollar signs left as our unit that's what cost is right dollars now uh, to get rid of that, what are we calculating cost for? Based on the heat loss that's going out this window. And those are what we calculated here. So, for each window, we have this much heat lost, which is watts. That's what we need to get rid of here, right? Watts. So, we're going to multiply by watts. And, we're going to have to remember this is kilowatts, so we need to make the correct conversion. But we also know that uh, here, this is for one window. We have 130 of them, so we're going to have to multiply by the windows. N or whatever you like to mark it as. So, here's the first window. There it is. The one per kilowatt hours. 8 and uh, 11.47. Let's check units. Hours cancels with hours. Watts cancels with watts. The K is simply 1000. So all we have to do is divide by 1000. Multiply out. And we can see that we are losing 11.92 dollars. Those are our only units. So there you go. Now, second material. Same thing done. Except use the correct uh, heat loss. And for the third one. We follow the same steps. Now we can see best material to use is the aerogel. We only lose $11.92. Worst is the soda lime. We would use lose a huge $1,192.76 uh, for this one trip.